of watched back when it came out and didn't really fuck much of it at the time. That it was nominated for a bunch of awards and I still didn't care. But recently I gave a second chance to Porco Russo, a giveaway film I also didn't care for when I saw it for the first time. That changed with a second viewing earlier this week. A rare event in my life. So far it has happened twice. First with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and now with Porco Russo. So I wanted to see if it would happen again. And one of the films I rewatched was Roma. Roma tells the story of a maid in Mexico City in the beginning of the 70s. Her care of the house and the family she lives with and her personal life as she becomes pregnant. We get to see how she and this family live their ordinary day-to-day -day life in an excruciating, slow-burning way. Wikipedia classifies this film as an epic drama, but that's just wrong. This is a drama, but there's nothing epic about it. Schindler's List is epic, this is just a drama, and not a great one, I would say. The best aspects of this film are the direction, the cinematography and the locations. I'll admit that during the first 20 to 30 minutes, the fancy camera movements felt pretentious and like the movie was using them to compensate for a lack of story, but afterwards the plot actually kicked in and things got slightly more interesting. And I say slightly because I still feel like the story is lacking in substance. It was rather a lackluster experience. Discounting how great this movie was visually, story-wise, it was pretty meh. The whole film portrays real life as authentic as it can get. All the performances are genuine and great, and this includes the child actors. The dialogue is on point, there was never anything said that felt fake or for plot's sake. Everything in the film is in service of telling a realistic portrayal of life in Mexico during the beginning of that decade. The problem I have with it is that no matter how accurate and fantastic all those elements are, the story at its core isn't one I would call compelling or riveting. In fact, I found it pretty generic and, and special. It's still far superior to most Hollywood crap, but pales in comparison against something like Shoplifters or last year's Parasite. Even movies I never want to watch again because they gross me the fuck out, like Steve McQueen's Hunger, all of them have more compelling and engrossing stories than in Roma. There was just nothing extraordinary about the sequence of events displayed throughout the film. This isn't to say I found the story bad or terrible, far from it, but when a movie gets so much acclaim and fame like Roma did, I expected more to say the least. The score wasn't really memorable, but given that the film was trying to depict real life in the most authentic way possible, the lack of movie music felt appropriate. Everything was on point except for the script. I get what the movie was going for, I guess I just didn't personally connect with it on a story level. It just wasn't for me. And that's fine, I'm glad other people enjoy this. I'm giving Roma a 6 out of 10, perfectly fine film, much better than other Best Picture nominees from 2018, but far inferior to films that didn't even receive that much attention. Shoplifters was at least nominated for Best Foreign Film, but Burning was snubbed really hard. Anyway, see you next time.